Quina Lamentations 3. I am the man that has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has led me and brought me into darkness, but not into light. Surely against me is he turned. He turns his hand against me all the day. My flesh and my skin has he made old. He has broken my bones. He has built against me, encompassed me with gall and travail. He has set me in dark places, as they that be dead of old. He has hedged me about, that I cannot get out. He has made my chain heavy. Also when I cry and shout, he shuts out my prayer. He has enclosed my ways with hewn stone. He has made my paths crooked. He was unto me as a bear lying in wait, and as a lion in secret places. He has turned aside my ways and pulled me in pieces. He has made me desolate. He has bent his bow and set me as a mark for the arrow. He has caused the arrows of his quiver to enter into my mind. I was a derision to all my people and their song all the day. He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunken with wormwood. He has also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He has covered me with ashes. And you have removed my soul far off from peace. I forgot prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from Yahweh. Remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall, my soul has them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. This I recall to mind, therefore have I hope. It is of Yahweh's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Yahweh is my portion, says my soul, therefore will I hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the Yahshua of Yahuwah. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sits alone and keeps silence because he has borne it upon him. He puts his mouth in the dust. If so be, there may be hope. He gives his cheek to him that smites him. He is full with reproach. For Adonai will not cast off forever, but though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For he does not afflict willingly nor grieve the children of men to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth, to turn aside the right of a man before the face of El Elyon. To subvert a man in his cause, Adonai approves not. Who is he that says, and it comes to pass, when Adonai commands it not? Out of the mouth of El Elyon proceeds not evil and good? Wherefore does a living man complain, a man for the punishment of his sins? Let us search and try our ways, and turn again to Yahweh. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto El in the heavens. We have transgressed and have rebelled. You have not pardoned. You have covered with anger and persecuted us. You have slain. You have not pitied. You have covered yourself with a cloud that our prayers should not pass through. You have made us as the offscourging, rather, off scouring and refu and refuse in the midst of the people. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. Fear and a snare has come upon us, desolation and destruction. My eye runs down with rivers of water for the destruction of the daughter of my people. My eye trickles down and ceases not without any intermission till Yahuwah look down, and behold, from heaven, my eye affects my heart because of all the daughters of my city. My enemies chased me sore like a bird 
without cause. They have cut off my life in the dungeon and cast a stone upon me. Waters flowed over my head. Then I said, I am cut off. I called upon your name, O Yahuwah, out of the low dungeon. You have heard my voice. Hide not your ear at my breathing, at my cry. You drew near in the day that I called upon you. You said, Fear not. O Adonai, you have pleaded the causes of my soul. You have redeemed my life. O Yahuwah, you have seen my wrong. Judge my cause. You have seen all their vengeance and all their imaginations against me. You have heard their reproach, rather, their reproach, O Yahuwah, and all their imaginations against me, the lips of those that rose up against me, and their device against me all the day. Behold, their sitting down and their rising up. I am their music. Render unto them a recompense, O Yahuwah, according to the work of their hands. Give them sorrow of heart, your curse unto them. Persecute and destroy them in anger from under the heavens of Yahuwah.